Independent client, uh, customer Bailey, uh, Cox rest, uh, Renovations. Um, this is a um, wheat on oak, which is basically a natural with a toner uh, on oak cabinet. Uh, Mr. Bailey um, has chosen that to go with his mixed color floor, and it looks beautiful in here. Um, thing about these, these are uh, well-worn forest cabinets. They're all plywood construction, slow close hinge, slow close drawer fronts. Uh, let me go around the room here real quick. And uh, first thing I want to do is want to show you, we did include the valance here. Customer wanted to have a valance instead of the return on both sides. Uh, so we added the molding across the top, another four feet of molding, another piece of uh, trim. Um, what that did though, is that made me about two foot short on having enough crown for this return right here. Real tight on length, so uh, we need to get another piece of molding for the return. Uh, but again, uh, it's not something that's not, it's, not, it's really easy to get a hold of. So a couple of weeks, we should be back with that piece of molding. Uh, let's take a look at the room though. Raised panel door, this is the Monterey, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and again, it's in the natural finish on uh, oak. Um, Touch-up kit is here, left it in place. Also left a sample kitchen cabinet wheat. That's something if he wants to use to go get backsplash tiles or something like that. Uh, here, the right-hand side, you've got adjustable shelves, slow closed doors, three drawer, drawer base 15, opening for the dishwasher is right at 24 inches uh, scooped sides now this is where we have to saddle cut the sides because of it being an undermount sink and a sink base 33 uh, if we don't scoop the sides a lot of times the sink won't fit in the space uh, so this is just a precaution to make sure that the sink's going to fit in that 33 inch sink base uh, here in the corner blind corner cabinet here's the right hand return side there Here's the left-hand blind side, and you can see double doors goes back into the corner. We did add a panel back in here uh, to keep the hole from having anything to fall out of. Uh, down here in the bottom, Lazy Susan. This is Wellborn Forest's Lazy Susan, or Wood Susan. Everything's working good there. Same thing on the bottom. Everything's working good there. Left-hand return door adjusted the gap on it towards nice and clean double drawers this is big most people want to have some drawer storage space in their kitchen and these big double drawers are the ticket for that this is a freestanding stove uh, and as a freestanding stove we always leave about a 30 and a quarter this one's right at 30 and 3 sixteenths or so uh, for the opening um, this floor did have a little bit of a drop from there to here is about three quarters of an inch. So I always order the wider eight inch wide toe plate and we just cut that to size. Makes it look so much more uh, better instead of having to drop the, the plate down to the ground. It gives you a full plate on the front. So we cut the eight inch down to, I think it was five and a quarter or so is what we needed for this area. But dro double drawer boxes here, a few extra pieces of handles and knobs. Everything working, that thing's huge. You're gonna put all kinds of storage in that. Upper cabinet here, shelves, adjustable shelves, slow closed doors. Again here, upper cabinet, went ahead and cut in for the electrical, for the microwave. We did a capital cut in the top molding. This is an accent above this area. Uh, that keeps me from having a seam uh, in this length. This length is over 10 feet. They only make crown and 10 foot length in this finish. So we stop it, jog it, go back, and that gives me a place there that the seam doesn't show up. It gives a little focal point right above the, the stove area. Over here on the left, double drawers again. Big, huge drawer space. It's going to have all kinds of room in those. Left here, shelves, adjustable shelves. Uh, real close, within three quarters of an inch of the end of the run. So we got really good use of all the space on the wall because we went with a wall blind corner cabinet over there. Here we got a drawer and it does miss. It misses by about an eighth of an inch. Uh, the front of that, doors open to 90. Half depth shelves, slow closed doors. 
And then back over here, we've got an opening that is uh, 69 inches down. This little guy right here is 67 inches tall. Uh, this is a removable panel. All you have to do if you get a taller refrigerator in the future is take out these three screws here in the top and this panel comes out and you can get up to a 72 inch tall refrigerator fit in there. So that panel's there because this guy's a little short and dumpy. So we don't want a big old hole above the refrigerator. End panels put in place, cut into the floorboards here at the bottom, 15 inch pantry cabinet here on the left. Again, shelves in the top, doors open past 90, shelves in the bottom, inch and a half filler here on the left hand side, scribe against the wall. And again, the only thing that's missing in the whole room is another two foot, 27 inches of uh, crown molding. Uh, and that again is because we added some extra above the sink area. We'll get that piece on order for him and get that out here and install it. Take a few minutes to be 100% complete on the uh, panels and stuff. So if you have any questions at all about this or any of the other kitchens that you see on our YouTube channel, uh, feel free to give me a call. We would love to work for you and your family, make your dream come true with your kitchen. Uh, the number to call me is 423-650-1051. Have a great day.